Well, hello everyone. Timmy is back here again with another video, and this time it's more software related than hardware related in the sense of mining. Uh, I I wanted to showcase in this video just a solution I came up with for one of the problems I ran into. <laughs> Mainly me being, uh, well, me having bad memory. Um, so, for those who doesn't know, this is also my main gaming rig and I do some mining on this one as well. I'm currently mining with three 1060s and two 1070s. And one of the 1070s is actually also uh, the main uh, graphic card which I also game on. I could I could actually pull up device manager so you could see it. Something like that. Uh, and here you can see that I have uh, three 1060s and two 1070s running in this rig. So the perfect solution here for me is to be when I'm not using or I won't say use not using the computer I would say when I'm not gaming I want to be able to mine with all five cards at the same time but once I'm gaming I only want to mine with four of them and configuring that it's but that's pretty easy. Uh, all you need to do is have two different uh, bat files that run the miner. Uh, so if you see over here, here is one uh, where I, I could specify which cards I want to mine with. So in this one I specified card 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, it starts out at 0, so if I would have done something like this, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I would have been mining with all the cards, all five cards. But when I run this bat file, I only want to mine with the with the four cards, so I'm just gonna stick it with that. Uh, but that's so I run this dot bat file when I'm gaming. When I'm not gaming, I'm running this file here, and this doesn't just it does. I haven't specified any cards, and it just, just means that it will mine with everything there is, pretty much. But Back to the problem I'm having. So, when I've been gaming, well, after I'm done gaming, I almost always forget to switch back to mine with five cards. To start mining with four cards while gaming, that I don't remember. Well, I, I always remember that one because I, I will get will getting hit pretty. <laughs> I will. Well, I will notice. The FPS difference will be, will be laggy as hell. So then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn off the mining with five cards and turn on the four cards mining. But once I'm done gaming and I want to go back to five cards, that's the part I forget. So it's been sometimes hours and even days <laughs> before I even notice that I haven't been mining with all the cards. And that's a bit frustrating. So to solve this issue... I made a PowerShell script that actually that checks to see if I'm running uh, a predefined game. It doesn't have to be a game. It can just be any process at all, pretty much. And if that process is running, uh, let's say just Dota 2. Uh, if, if Dota 2 is running, the script will uh, check okay so Dota 2 is running which miner is running am I mining with four or five cards if I'm mining with five cards it will switch to four and if it's if it's if it says that okay you're only mining with four already then it doesn't do anything at same thing if I then stop gaming it goes in and checks, oh, okay, is Dota 2 running? Oh, no, it's not running. Uh, and then it checks, is there any mining going on? And if there isn't any mining going on, it will start the mining with all five cards. Also, if it's mining with four cards, it will go in, oh, okay, you're mining with four cards, nope, stop that and start mining with five cards instead. Uh, to be able to do that, 
I'm currently mining Digibyte uh, using the CC miner, uh, but the concept is pretty much the same for almost this, all, uh, the, all the other miners out there. Uh, I haven't tried this with NiceHash. I don't know if NiceHash has an API you can connect to with PowerShell maybe, but you don't need this for the other miners because since you're just, let me go into the uh, bat file. Since you're in the bat file for the configuration, you can specify which cards you want to run with. You don't have to, uh, let me think here. Yeah, you don't have to do anything specific, just PowerShell in that sense. So what I just want to do is, I want to run this configuration when Dota 2 is running. And when it's not running, I will run the other one. Pretty simple. Uh, the only issue, so, well, no, okay, let's start here. So you need two bad files, one for mining for all the cards and one for mining for uh, with just four of them. Or how many you have. <clears throat> but the issue came a little bit when, you, when I needed to have a, a way to check, okay, but how can I define or how, how can I find out if I'm mining with four or five cards? And the solution for that, for me at least, was to just copy the ccminer.exe and run and rename it, uh, re rename that copy to ccminer game. So what I can do with PowerShell then is to check which, which process is running right now. So if ccminer.exe is running, then I know that, okay, I'm only mining with, no, I'm mining with all the five cards. But if you see minor game.exe is running, I'm just mining with four cards. So that's how I can uh, separate those out and actually know uh, w what I'm mining. And then in the files you can see here, I just changed the, so the gaming mode bat file, it will call the CC minor game.exe. And in the other one, I'm just calling the CC minor.exe. So that's so far. Um, what else? Uh, in the bat, well, in the PowerShell script, I'm just defining some variables to get the processes, the name of the processes, the file path to the processes, and then just the logic on how to handle if a certain process is running or not. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the games.txt file uh, in here. I can specify which processes I want to I, I want the script to check for. So th this is just an example. So in here I have Dota 2 and Spotify. So if any of these are running, it will trigger the game mode bat file, which contains well, which will only mine with four cards. So here I can just add another file. I can add Notepad if I want. I can add uh, MS Paint. Yeah, you name it. How many I want here? Uh, but just for demonstration purposes, I've been using Dota and Spotify. And Dota is the main game I play, so that's the only one I need as for now. <clears throat> uh, okay, that's not true. I also play some StarCraft too. But if you can see over here in the mining, I'm currently mining with all five cards. Uh, the hash rate is a little bit lower since I'm recording as well, but I'm mining with all five cards. If I now would start... Uh, oh, okay, let me jump back a little bit. <clears throat> because the script itself is not running... Because right now, this is yes, if I run the script manually, it will go through everything as I said uh, but what I did was I created a scheduled task that runs every five minutes well reoccurs every five minutes repeats itself every five minutes so it's, it's keeps on checking in like okay uh, what's this what is running are you running the correct miner for that but if I want to show this off I can just uh, go back here and yeah as I said we're mining with five cards right now uh, if I start Spotify, uh, so like that, Spotify is running, and I now run this script here. 
it will kill the process. Since I was mining with five cards, it will kill that process and start mining with four cards instead. Which is exactly how I want it. Uh, then, if I'm sh if I'm shutting down Spotify, Spotify is not running anymore, and I run the script again. It shuts down, and it starts mining with five cards. And the exactly same thing would happen with Dota 2, in this instance, if I was running Dota 2. <clears throat> also, if I shut down the mining, and I, have, I, I don't have Spotify running, and I don't have Dota running, and no miner running, and I run the script, it will kick off and start mining with five cards. So this just automates the process and I don't have to think about it again, <laughs> which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, it, took me a, it took me a few hours to get the logic in place, but uh, it's not the best, but it works. So I'm happy with it so far. Um, so from now on, I don't need to think about checking how many cards am I mining with. I just know that as long as the process, well, no, as long as the scheduled task is running, it will keep track of it itself. And I don't have to think about it. Uh, the only thing is that, yeah, if I, if I want to uh, start gaming, uh, because yes, as I said, I was doing the scheduled task every five minutes. If I start uh, a game now, I want to play directly and not wait until the scheduled task manually kick in I just go in myself and start the gaming mode uh, but that hassle that it just takes a few seconds so that and that was never the issue to switch to that one there was the problem I had was switching back to mining with five cards when I was not gaming uh, because yeah my memory kept on failing me and I haven't been able to upgrade my memory in my brain yet but I'm working on that too <laughs> So, yeah, this was just me showcasing this script pretty much. Um, I will make the script available if someone is interested. Uh, also, if someone wants to make... Well, if someone's interested in me making a guide on how to set it up from the beginning to the end, just let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, just post them below. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.